Okay, here's a situation that I run into often, and it's a little more often than um, most people even think about, but you have a step. You have three steps with the same size tread thickness. Each one of these is an inch and a half thickness. And then we come up to a deck or even a floor that has three-quarter inch plywood, um, three-quarter inch OSB. Now in this case it's a sample. I have a half inch piece of OSB and as you can see here I have seven and a half inches, um, seven and a half inches, and when I come up to here, I have six and a half inches. Now, why is that? That's because they didn't allow for the difference in between the floor sheeting and the tread thickness. So this, to fix this, this would actually need to lower an inch. So, and again, it, it's not hard to figure out since we have, um, we can see that we're at, uh, looks like six and a quarter, six and three eighths right there. You would have to lower this. Now you say, well, what about adding to the top of this? If you added another inch and a quarter to the top of this, you would have to add it to the entire floor or landing. A landing wouldn't be a big deal if the stairs were coming up here and then going back up um, to uh, another side like an L shape. But a floor, if this was your floor and you had two or three bedrooms up there and a couple of bathrooms, uh, you could see where it would be a problem. So make sure that if there's any variations in your floor or your decking and your stair treads that you adjust for it um, by lowering or raising your ledger, whatever you would need to do.